Right. So this isn't kind of the one-stop shop. There's way more to talk about, uh, but he's uh, kind of given an example of, of where these uh, fail um, uh, uh, looking at uh, kind of a knowledge-based system. So, okay, Hinduism is the first one. Hinduism uh, is the outstanding example of the religion of transcendent mysticism in the history of the world. As we mentioned before, Hindus believe that the world is an illusion. Uh, we're all trying to get to nirvana, but we can get there only if we meditate and get off the wheel of life. And so that, that's the ultimate goal is uh, we want to be good humans because uh, we want to uh, stop uh, everything and live in perpetual bliss for forever. Uh, we've already discussed right, so this. We have this. So we have this samsara is what they call it, this circle of life where you're born and then you, you, know, you adhere to the dharma, which is the law that they have. And then you, um, you acquire either good karma or bad karma. And then based on that, it, it results in what your new birth will be. And the goal then is to try to get out of that, you know, samsara circle into nirvana, nirvana right? Or uh, escape all of that particular circle. Right. And, and we see this played out within their society, uh, the caste system of India, uh, kind of uh, 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 models this because, well, you're poor because you're born poor because you've done uh, harmful things in your past life. And so uh, maybe next time you uh, do better this one and maybe next <laughs> yeah. time you won't be so poor. And and so uh, that, that that kind of uh, talks about um, a, uh, a an expressed view of an internal belief system that uh, that um, is meted out. And so that's, that's one of the things that as presuppositionalists we like to talk about is what from our, your belief system drives your action and does it account for it? Well, here they're adhering to their belief system. If you're poor, uh, that's a bad thing. And so uh, that clearly indicates that you've done the bad karma uh, run route, uh, the Fallout 3 uh, video game that talks about good karma, bad karma uh, for, for uh, being mean or, or, or carrying out the, uh, the uh, objectives. Um, and so uh, the caste system uh, uh, is, is that outward expression. All right, and, and so uh, we've already discussed this, but let's review the Hare Krishna, though they uh, might not want to admit it, is really a variant of Hinduism. And the way that we approach the Hare Krishna falls in the previous chapter. It's the last video that we did uh, uh, last week for the short video. Uh, and uh, it's uh, also the way that we can uh, kind of refute the Hindu here. If there are no distinctions, if all is really is one, then on that worldview, I'm already in Nirvana because there's no distinction between being in Nirvana and not being in Nirvana, right? But if Nirvana is different from this world, then there must be distinctions. He must either give up Hare Krishna or Hinduism or give up logic. And uh, right. he said, if you're going to give up logic, at least be honest that you're going to give up logic. Right. So those are your choices, right? All is one. Okay, well, then why am I worried about being in Nirvana? Because I'm already in it if all is one, right? right. And so... Uh, so you can't have it both ways, right? So either all is one, and therefore I'm already in nirvana, or there's a distinction, either or, and therefore, uh, you know, all isn't one. Right. And so, you know, you can't have all is one and all is not one at the same time. You have to give up logic if you're going to have that. So that's that's the main problem he suggests with Hinduism. 